Hey, what's up? This is Todd Smith. I'm back with another video. In this video, I want to talk about losing motivation. It pretty much happens to everybody at some point in time. You're just going to get unmotivated when you're dealing with artistic creation, creating music, creating any type of art. That's just naturally going to happen. But before we jump into this topic, I need to thank you for taking the time and supporting my channel. Without you, your support, your views, your Patreon and Bandcamp support, it really just would not happen. This channel wouldn't exist. So thank you so much. Jumping back to losing motivation, it's definitely something that's going to happen in your creative life and it's inevitable. For some people, the demotivation might be temporary and they just step away from whatever they're doing a bit and they're able to step back in. Others, it may stack up and they may start to question why they're even doing this hobby and completely sell out and just move on. You can be obviously demotivated from various ways. I kind of look at it from two different perspectives, whether you demotivate yourself or somebody else comes along and kind of influences that demotivation. In a sense, it's still coming from within you, but you have an external source that's kind of feeding that. The demotivation that's 100% contained within you is when you're maybe trying to make music and it's just you're not making anything good. Maybe you're just starting out and you have these concepts of music you want to make and you're not even close to it. You're six months down the line. You're starting to get really frustrated at the sounds that you're not making, at your progress. Or maybe you're six years in the game and you already have a defined sound and you've been banging out really crazy tracks and all of a sudden you go stone cold and you just can't write a great track worth a lick. And in my opinion, those are kind of the easier ones to get over. Because really, it's all about you taking the time, stepping back. As you're learning, don't focus on what you can't do. Focus on these new things that you have learned and the positive aspects of your growth. And obviously, later down the road, if you already have a sound and you've hit that just writer's block and it's kind of frustrating you and demotivating you, maybe you just need to step away from music for a little while. I mean, honestly, I did that two months ago. I just stepped away for a couple months because I wasn't feeling it. I was making a few tracks that weren't coming out the way I liked. And I was like, you know what, maybe I just need to step away for a little bit and just regroup, refocus myself. So nine out of 10 times when it, ha when it has to do with, you know, writer's block or not progressing fast enough, something that's all within you, it's really about just stepping back, realizing that it's not everything happens on demand when you want. Sometimes it comes you know, by itself and you have no control. Then you have the more crippling terms of demotivation. I think this hits people a little harder. And it's generally when they're trying to push or they're thinking of pushing a project, they're thinking of pushing a concept, maybe they're thinking of starting a YouTube, but they see people with big numbers, big channels, and they're like, how can I ever compete with that? YouTube is a perfect example. I mean, when you first jump into YouTube, the chances are it's going to take you multiple years in hard persistence of grinding to actually build up some solid numbers and get some growth. And while you're doing that, there's going to be a few people that come into the space and absolutely blow by you within a day because they have the editing, they have the personality, everything clicks within the YouTube algorithm and they take off. So you've been sitting there grinding for a couple of years and someone comes along and just blows right by you. And that's gonna happen. You have to accept that unless you happen to be one of the select few that blow up and the majority will not. The majority have to grind. So you're entering the space, you're seeing people with massive numbers that you in your mind will never ever be able to compete with. And then as you're slowly grinding up, people come in and just blow right by you. That's definitely a different form of demotivation. It can either A, completely stop you from ever making a channel just because all those combinations alone just were like, I, I will never be able to do anything in a space. Or two, you actually started creating a space, but after six months, you just lose all interest in actually pushing anymore because the top numbers seem so big and you've seen people blow by you so fast. That's just one example, but obviously that example applies to a lot of things beyond YouTube. There's a lot of things in life that is going to be very much like that situation when you get into creative entrepreneurship, something that you need to push and grind out every single day. There's always going to be people in that space already set, already good to go. And there's going to be new people fighting for that space that are going to blow right by you. 
when it comes down to that type of demotivation, getting demotivated to start like an artistic project just because of the massive amount of successful ones around you, the best thing you can do is keep your head low, start something you want to do, do it as often as you want, and just focus on your numbers, your growth, your channel, the positive aspects of it. I'm not saying don't socialize, don't be friends with everyone, become a hermit, turn off your lights, and just play synthesizers all day, but definitely focus on you. Because if you start to put all that energy on, why is this guy so big? Why is that guy so big? Why did this guy grow so fast? That is all energy wasted, wondering why somebody else is growing when you could be focusing on you, your content, your music, your plans. And with a couple years work, keeping your head down, focusing on you, you could be pretty surprised the amount of um, traction you gain in whatever you're trying to go for. Of course, artistic projects and entrepreneur type things are never guaranteed. I mean, that's one thing about them. There's just no guarantee. But if you get shot down with demotivation before you could even have the chance to do the groundwork to see if it works, then you never even got a chance to see if it's possible. And I think chasing artistic projects um, is very healthy. It's one of the things that isn't pushed in our society. Be creative. Push your creative side. And it's all about money, money, cash, cash, now, now, job, job. I mean, that's what's pushed. I mean, they're taking more and more creative aspects out of school, at least in America. And creativity is just not centralized to people at all as a healthy thing to do. I feel creativity at its core is very important to pretty much everybody. So if anyone gets in a funk of any kind when it comes to demotivation and artistic projects, I hope this video can help a little bit. Feel free to drop your opinion, your experiences, your stories, because I'm sure it could help somebody else. That's the great thing about this comment sections that, you know, everyone can kind of feed off each other. And I need to say thank you to the people who come to this channel, because in general, you guys really leave some amazing stories and comments. And as always, stay positive, stay creative, support each other, and peace.